Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey. And, uh, let's see. Still out here in faction warfare space, so... We'll continue to do faction warfare stuff. At least until we run out of ammo. But that's not a problem for today. Alright, so... Let's see what's going on. Don't see any battlefields. Oh, okay, just four of those. Two newts. Drug damage amplifier. Huh. Hammerheads and ogres. All right. So anyway, uh, someone asked me if I'd give a, I don't know, tutorial, I guess, faction warfare stuff. Uh, so I guess I'll talk about what I do, um, which is mostly about avoiding PvP because I am terrible at PvP. Um, a long time viewers will know. <laughs> um, anyway. I am that. And. Right. So, I mean, obviously, step one make sure you've got everything that you're going to need. And. Plenty of ammo, especially, before you head out. Um, I normally, if I'm going to be doing Faction Warfare, I ensure, ensure at the Platinum level so I get the most payout. I mean, it is, it is a dangerous activity. Don't, uh, don't engage in it with a ship you can't afford to lose. Um... I mean, that's kind of rule number one in EVE in general, but um, when I started this, I was mostly flying um, uh, mostly slashers and occasionally rifters, all valued around 1 million isk, which, you know, you can, you can uh, earn yourself a million isk just doing Project Discovery for a little bit, so that's uh, that shouldn't be a range that you're concerned about losing. Um, and I won't say losing ships doesn't suck, but one of the things I did early on was I, um, you know, and if you go back into the history of this channel, you could see it, but I completed all of the air. Uh, career tasks, like the entire thing. Now that includes uh, losing 20 ships, um, which I did. So, all right, we're defending, so that means. We're staying in friendly territory. Took Alga. That's cool. Did we have Alga yesterday? I don't remember. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> so. 
Um, if you haven't done faction warfare before, basically the PVE portion revolves around these uh, these complexes, right? So I'm in Midmatar space, uh, Midmatar faction warfare space, I should say. So I've got Midmatar sites. Um, these are friendly to me because I am uh, Midmatar. So uh, scout is for frigates. Um, that's the meaning that's the upper limit of what size ship you can bring in. Scout is frigates. Uh, small is destroyers. Medium is um, cruisers. Large is battle cruisers, and I believe open is the next one up. Which presumably you can take anything in there. Um, if it says navy, then that means you can bring in tier one and uh, navy variants. So fleet issue, fleet issue if you're Minotaur. If it says advanced, then you can bring in T2 ships. <laughs> and then of course the number is how many players can get full credit. Uh, means full loyalty points. Right? So one means if there's if there are two or more players in there when it completes, the LP will be divided among them. Um, for these sites you'll have five um, yeah there's an advanced five variant um, uh, let's see. Web drive active. There's an open. You'll occasionally see uh, ones in here with a ten. I think those might mainly be pirate sites. Battlefields would be 30. Okay, right. I forgot open doesn't have a warp in, so land it directly into the plex. Otherwise I'd normally do a D scan to see if anyone else is here before I jumped in. Um, you notice I've got range set to minimum, angle set to maximum, 360 degrees, so I'm gonna move off of the warp in so that if someone does come in uh, they won't be right on top of me and hopefully I can make use of range since I've got unfriendlies uh, these flashing orange 
or you want highlighted orange um, yellow skull definitely red skull um, I'm gonna keep scanning although well I guess it doesn't really make it much of a difference for the open they'll come in or not habit though. Um, so anyway, since it's a friendly site, um, we could do this in any ship because nobody's fighting us, right? Except for potentially whoever jumps in. So basically, we're just going to sit here, wait for this timer to cool down, and hope nobody jumps in on us. Um, anyway, I don't think you can do faction warfare stuff in a Corvette. Um, think those might not register as real ships, basically. Um, but, yeah, anything frigate and higher, as long as your ship will fit through the gate, then uh, you can do it if it's friendly. Um, Of course, that's the danger. at Amamake. Web drive active. Alright, so it says defend, so it's got to be a friendly for this one. Amamake is usually a pretty busy, busy system, so
as expected. There are some larges here. It's also a bunch of people. So let's try doll. Web drive active. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Essentially, I'll jump into this, well, jump to the gate, if there is one, if it's not an open. Do a scan, if somebody's in there. I'll probably leave them, leave them be and go somewhere else. Um, unless I can confirm somehow that they're friendly. There we go, do we have a large here? We do not. If I can confirm it's friendly and I'm not going to be costing them L LP, right? So like this Navy 5, if there was, I don't know, two or three people in there, I might jump in. Um, and uh, for the most part, Mimitar is pretty friendly, except for the... Uh, uh, the LP farmers who may or may not attack you. Uh, usually they're fairly easy to spot. Uh, they tend to be Chinese. Um, and I hate to stereotype like that. I'm sure that there are some Chinese players that aren't basically openly hostile to everyone else, but that's been my fairly consistent experience. Um, so at this point, if I see a Chinese player, I pretty much assume they're a gold farmer and they're going to be hostile. Alright, let's try over here. It doesn't specify contested. So... So anyway, once you jump in, you never want to sit on the warp in point, right? Move off some distance. Um, if you're going across the center of the of the uh, capture zone, then you should be able to go at least 30 kilometers and still be in the zone. That just gives you some time to react if somebody jumps in on you. Um, again, no, large. Web drive active. Um, 
Yeah, for starting out, um, actually the, uh, there's some default fits that should be, um, already saved, right? They're like the EVE University fits, um, for like the Rifter. That's a decent start. Um, again, I'm not an expert on fitting. Hey, hey, here we go. Map drive active. Is contested, but it's a rear guard. We're not going to get much LP if we get any at all. Still kind of curious how the whole thing works in terms of how much LP is given. Alright, we know the system's empty, but I'll go ahead and scan it just to be sure. No results. don't know why these ships are marked red, not blue, since they are friendly, but whatever is what it is.
Should have known it was a trap as soon as he jumped in. What we got here. <clears throat> uh 
All right. Target painter. Was I thinking this was a missile ship? Ah, uh, because I was thinking of the fleet issue. Seems legit. Let's see.
Warp drive active. Alright, so this is going to be a short range Docking ship. We got 6,300 meters, 5,300 meters. It's also got drone bay, so we need some drones. <clears throat> Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Kind of bummed about losing my cyclone. Got to be honest. But yeah, I really should have known better than to stick around when that uh, jaguar jumped in. No way, that wasn't going to be trouble. Well, okay, I think time wise, let's just run a regular mission real quick. <clears throat> security Active. just to see how this thing flies Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. drive active. Thank <laughs> you. 
warp drive active. Drive active.
drive active. Orb drive active. Drive active. Permission Damn, requested. forgot I was Docking muted. Well, anyway, this seems like this seems like a decent fit. We'll try it in some faction warfare next time, probably. Um, for now, I'm not unhappy with it. Seems to be as the uh, go fast and hit hard school, um, you know, which is one way to minimize the amount of damage you take. Well, two ways really. All right. Go ahead and untrack that for now. This gives us our stuff for today. We will. All right, well, since we're bumping up against an hour here, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. So until next time, have a good one.